want to thank each and every one of you, first of all, for coming here and uh, spending a part of your busy lives uh, with us. I hope, uh, I hope each and every one of you got the message. This is not about me, truly. It is about someone who isn't supposed to be here and probably was told many times he's not supposed to be here. Just not out of hatred or spite, just out of ignorance and, and, and fear. And I know that each and every one of you here, whether you know it or not, is impacted by mental health issues. It is one of the leading causes of death around the world, depression. And in America, where I now make my living, although this will always be my home, one in five people will be directly impacted. And unfortunately, we have a long way to go. There is so much stigma still. I, I can count on my hands, the amount of people, and predominantly men that I know that have lost the battle. And since this documentary is now aired in the United States and here in Canada, my email inbox has been flooded with stories of so many people who lost loved ones because people were not there for them. They were unwilling to listen and just show empathy and understanding. I have been so blessed that not only do I have these people on this stage, but all of you obviously supporting me. And I just ask, I implore, I beg you, not one more. Men especially, I, I'm, in the, I'm in the biggest testosterone business there is. I'm surrounded by alpha males for a living. And we are all in a fight. But we are losing the battle because I'm not in a wheelchair. I don't suffer from cancer. I don't have to undergo chemotherapy. I'm not taking insulin for diabetes. But you see this face. You see someone who is suffering from a debilitating illness on a daily basis. And I may be right now the voice of the voiceless and just a face that represents millions. But the only reason I shared my story because I want to smash stigma and I want to help save one life. Every one of us on a daily basis asks someone, how are you? It's rote, it's trite, it's, do you even really mean it at times? And the answer, oh, not bad, I'm fine, okay. Let's, let's do me one favor, this is all I'm gonna ask and I'm gonna shut up. Ask someone you care about how, how they are, and please just listen, and really get the answer. You could be saving a life. Thank you all very much, and God bless you. Thank you. You know, hyperbole is the greatest word, as I say. 
Um, I would not be here without cannabis, and I'm not saying that everyone has to all of a sudden oh, take medical can cannabis, but I know it would help my mom's quality of life. She has so many uh, debilitating health issues and has been the biggest fighter I've ever seen. But for me, I was on, maybe like yourself, and again, I understand uh, for those that antidepressants work, that's great. For me, as you see in the, the doc, I, I put on weight without even look, just looking at food, and just the side effects, the, the pacing, the I, I became more suicidal. Cannabis, is, and I've always said, I understand the stigma of mental health, the stigma of pro wrestling that I do, the stigma of cannabis. Uh, for me, if, I don't know what it is, but there's an, an ingredient, it's not the CBD, and I know that helps, but a THC that allows me to be more sociable, uh, more creative, more focused, more happy, and, and I'm just a better human being overall. And I understand all the issues that people may have. I understand that studies still to me need to be made, but I know for a fact, for me, there would be, I would not have a life without cannabis. And it's been 24 years. I can count on my hands and have fingers left over the amount of days I've not been under the influence of cannabis. And my life's been pretty good. Uh, are you on any other meds now? No, no I am, uh, I, as I've made pretty clear in the uh, documentary, I would love to continue uh, doing more research into the big pharma and the opioids. I just, I just see what the side effects are doing. And well, I think what we are is we're we're, uh, we're proof of something that I that I um, I tell everybody, and that is uh, there is a solution out there. There's help out there. There's something that will change your life out there, but you got to search for it. And what works for me doesn't work for you. I mean, clearly, I'm on two antidepressants now, and it's worked for me. I have these marks on my arm. I have five marks on my arm. I start the month with no marks on my arm, and every time I have a bad day, I put a mark. And this is a huge win for me. Five bad days out of, uh, what date is it? You must know, you know everything. Well, it's yeah. 27 today. Yeah. It's not, maybe 27, I got five marks. And antidepressants <laughs> saved my life. But cannabis saved your life. Yep. And that's the message, which is you gotta keep, you gotta keep searching. And it's the hardest thing in the world to search for, right? 100%, I still, that, and, and in the doc you see, I would, I just want to know why, like everyone else, if you're taking something, you're giving us something, why does it work? Well, research has shown it helps. Do you know why it works? No, we don't. Well, I know this stuff grows from the ground. I know what it's done to a variety of people. And I, and, and again, it's just stigma, it's bureaucracy, it's government, it's red tape, it's all that bullshit, pardon my French. Uh, we, we need to give more resources. We need more money, Michael, and, and we need more, way more intelligent people than myself to, to begin to research and investigate. I, like yourself, we are given a platform and I'm going to continue to use my platform, but we need help. We need money, we need research, and we need empathy.